I'm like so fucking mad. I'm so mad. I'm so fucking mad. I went through so much bullshit on that motherfucking show. I'm so fucking heated. I don't give a fuck about that show. Ooh -wee. Welcome to Heavy Here to Media, where we love to read, rant, and review. And baby, speaking of a rant, <laughs> child, that baby got it off of his chest. If you have been under a rock, TGIF is canceled. It's been a lot of he say, she say. And finally, Armand Wiggins has told his side. Y'all come on in, let's have this heavy conversation. Because baby, <laughs> my God, today. Heavy hitter media. <laughs> Well, 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 good to be back. Even for a brief moment, I'm here in between the midst of my studies. This was a short-lived victory. <laughs> Pause me, please. Baby, practically non-existent. Congratulations, Amon Wiggins, new official host. I think he sat in that chair for about five months before the debauchery and the foolishness actually uh, came to light, which is what this video is about. How Al Reynolds clearly was a common denominator and y'all owe Claudia Williams an apology. Uh, pause it, please. Y'all blame that lady for everything. It turned out it was sneaky ass Al. Child, anyway, let's listen to these videos that have of the one and the only Al Reynolds being the diva that he has been accused of being and turn around and flipping the script and then all of a sudden using Joyce to get what he wants. So we'll pause, we'll talk about it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get it. Oh yeah, wait, before we actually get started, again, I titled this Y'all Owe Claudia an Apology. And that is because everybody and their mama was saying Claudia put a battery in that boy's back that Marmon hadn't been there long enough to see and to feel the way that he does. But this video clearly shows that he does and did. Um, Frank and Uneva got on an interview with Carlos King and went over there and talked a whole bunch of nothing. And again, I, in case you are not aware, I am not an Armand fan at all. When he came on as a new host, I stopped watching altogether. But for Funky to get on that interview and speak all that stuff in regards to a topic in a situation that he had absolutely only one side of and actually didn't even fully know the parameters or specifics, that was really, really foolish for someone that's so intelligent. What I did. Let's okay. Go. When you saw Armand's roast to Al, what was your first thought? A battery was put in his back. A battery was put in his back. Did you lay it out for me or did I not pick up the battery that you gave me and put it in my fucking back so now I'm immature? Am I only, I'm now I'm only immature because I didn't drag Claudia. Cause let's talk about the battery. The battery was get Claudia's ass out of here and continue to make that bitch uncomfortable. That, that, these are my thoughts. Can't prove it. Don't know for a fact. I thought a battery was put in his back. I thought it was deeply personal. I thought it was extremely unprofessional. I thought it was completely un, I thought it was gross. I thought it was gross. And the reason why I thought it was gross is because obviously ha in having had work there, a lot of the things that he was saying, he had not even been there long enough to experience or even know what the fuck he was talking about. It was okay. obvious that them brother Tuckers didn't get along. It was obvious to me. It don't take no 10 years for me to realize. Five years, I was only there on that for a week and I could see that there was distinction between those people. Pause with please. No, our mind just happened to be a lot smarter than y'all gave him credit for because it does not take long to look around, be observant and catch what's happening. And he caught it and y'all didn't think he would. He came into a situation that was already effed up and y'all thought that he hadn't been there long enough. Baby, please, it don't take long to catch bullshit. Speaking of catching bullshit, let's go ahead and get into these leaked YouTube meetings that um, happened between Al and Claudia and Claudia and Joyce and Armand. Child, this is, this is crazy, yeah. Al, you were the problem, sweetheart. That, there's a disconnect. There's a disconnect, Joyce, and you refuse to recognize it, and it's not fair. You say to us certain things, but then you backslide on it. You say certain things to me, and you say certain things to other people. It's quite clear you got caught hey guys. twice Ow. talking about me. You got caught. You can, and I won't even tell on this show, Ow. on this Zoom, what you said to me offline. Uh, okay, so we won't even talk about this. Ow. Ow. I just look really quick. I want to jump in because, guys, we're on Zoom and it's still people on here and this conversation is recorded the thing is i just want us like i mean we're definitely this is you know we have to resolve this but i just kind of want this to keep keep this in-house 
because these type of things. Me, let's talk about being very unprofessional. Okay. Uh, pause me, please. That interruption as he was talking was extremely unprofessional, Al. Why would you send me that? Why wouldn't you say, Al, look, I apologize. I messed up. You're going to send me, oh, you, let's talk about being very unprofessional, telling me I'm being unprofessional because I missent something. You missent it first. You right. missent it first. And then you're going to call me unprofessional? Al, Al, please cut it out. And please. then say to me, please pay attention to the show. Please. Oh, I'm not paying attention to the show? Did I miss something? When somebody called on me, I'm not raising my voice at you. Well, I am because I'm upset. I'm okay. tired of my EP not I'm respecting okay. how I feel. I'm tired of my EP talking shit about me. I'm tired of my EP. Pause me, please. I don't know in what world you can talk to your EP, your manager, your supervisor, whoever, but I'm sure she's above him, uh, talent or not. But they're tapping on the table oh, and trying to talk over me. Oh, no, no, no. Y'all wouldn't let him quit? Oh, that's fine, because he would have been fired that day. He acting like one thing in front of one group and one thing in front of another. Okay, I have the right to be upset. I asked you to please let me go. You will not let me. This is what you get. Okay. And I'm glad it's being recorded because I need for people to see what I'm dealing with on a regular basis with you. Got it. Is you're absolutely right. That was the rule is that Claudia is not to come okay, back. Why are you jumping down my throat for following your rule that you put in? And then why are you going to call me in front of my colleagues that I do too much as usual? Those were your words. You want me to scroll down and read them? You yeah, want me to scroll down and read them? You want me to scroll down and read them? I do too much on this show. I do too much choice on this show on a regular. Yes, okay. too much. Just like now. Okay, because this is what happened. Last week, you cut Claudia off, off when she was trying to end the show to give a shout out. You've done it at the top of the show. I'm not the only one that cuts people off to, to say stuff at the end of the show, Joyce. Get out of here. Get out of here, Joyce. I'm, oh, so I'm the only one that cuts anybody off on this show. I'm the only one that doesn't follow the script. I'm the only one that does impromptu stuff. Get out of here, Joyce. Doing that, that's the thing. Okay, okay. I'm the Joyce, I, hey guys, I think we got to table this conversation. I'm the one that's always the problem on the show, right, Joyce? No, no, I'm not saying that you're always the problem on the show, but whenever I try to talk to you about the issues that we have, each of us, all of the, I mean, I speak to each of us. Joyce, we have so many issues on this show, sweetheart. For you to constantly nitpick me every day and call me every day telling me something that I need to work on is no. exhausting. And I've told you that. I no. said, Joyce, we have people falling off the, the, the damn internet and you're calling me about a glow I have at the top of my freaking head. I have said that to you. But yeah. you don't understand what that means when you constantly have to criticize a talent all the time. Pause me, please. Isn't that an EP's job to give notes in order to make the show better? What the hell is Al talking about? Yeah, that's that diva behavior. She's supposed to give you critiques, fool. It doesn't feel good. And it okay. doesn't feel good when I am trying my freaking best every freaking day. And you I, don't acknowledge it. I'm sick of it. I'm I, sick of it. I, if I, it put some shit like in that chat, you better be glad it came to me. You better be glad it came to me. And I'm glad it came. It came to me for a reason. And the reason is for me to talk to you like this right now. You have no right to call me unprofessional because you have been on a live show talking with your friends and cackling and kickling with your friends on a live YouTube now, show. Now that is you true. We definitely heard you in the background. You have so nerve to tell me I'm unprofessional. I'm done. Ooh, Lord, Miss Al's feelings was hurt, honey. He had to get that up off of his chest. He had been holding on to that, keeping that close to his chest. Well, I hope he feel better. Because, again, had it been me, his ass would have been fire. Let's go on and get into this next one we, when we hear how Al had been lying and spreading rumors and pitting them against each other. I, I can't take it anymore. I, I cannot I cannot take this. Al you called me the day after the Image Awards and said, oh. we need to have a meeting with Joyce. And I found it weird because we don't really talk anymore. He wanted to have a meeting. since I, I, I'm, tired of, I'm tired of the lies. And it has to all be on the table. And I wish Al was here. And I said, what? He called me up and says he doesn't like the direction of the show. And at the time, I wasn't feeling it either, in full disclosure. And Armand, I told you this. We already know this. I told you I wasn't feeling it either. I felt like it was this, all this contention. It was this negative. And I, I felt the same way. So he's like, I want to have a meeting with Joyce, which I thought was weird that he wanted to include me because I know they have their relationship and they talk a lot. And then they're close. So I was like, all right, whatever. I'll be on the meeting. In the meeting, he said he felt a few things. He felt like Justin is making the show too gay. And he wanted Destiny to have a more of a, a, a bigger role in the show and take over yeah. the topics. Yeah. Did say that. Okay, so you agree with that. 
Then he also said, and Armand, he, I don't like the, the tone of the show and I'm just not happy and I don't think I can do this much longer if he's here. And I was like, wow, okay, he said that. He also said, I went out with Armand and Armand said, that him and Justin went on a date and that he's been very heavily coached for this job, including being told to join after. That is what's being said. I'm sorry, Joyce. I'm a very honest person. I'm not good at lying. And I will tell the truth. That's what was said in the meeting. We had this meeting. We did have a meeting. He did say that. I'm not even putting that on you. That's why I find it very odd that you're rushing to his defense and saying, no, 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 shutting it down. He said it, Joyce. I, I'm a very credible person and I'm not a liar. I'm not. I agree with every single thing. Okay, so, but he did tell you that, oh, Joyce, and I don't know why wow. you're denying it. That's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, not a problem. Not a problem. So, not Joyce, you didn't tell me that he said that I am making the show heavily gay? Yeah. As a manager, that is he a, did I'm say that. Offended. He said he wanted. De- he said he, he said he wanted Daphne to take over your role and to put her more in the position. You didn't tell me this, Joyce. I swear to God, he didn't say that Justin was making it heavily gay. Oh my God! I got y'all, Joyce. Joyce. That's what he said. Let me walk. He said it. what? Let me walk it off. He felt that the show was turning heavily gay. He didn't say that Justin is making the show heavily gay. Then why would he suggest Daphne to take over? No, he didn't say for Destiny to check over. He said maybe what Destiny can do is Destiny... Hold on one second. Basically, we're saying the same thing, but you're making it more palatable. We're saying the same thing. You guys, I'm not a liar. I've never lied. I have bad... I can't, I can't lie about this. Destiny can take over doing more of the, the topics that as it relates to women, as it relates to relationships. That's what he said. And I said, oh, okay. Well, that's a good idea. You know... That, have that, you ever told Justin this? We'll, we'll see. Listen, yeah, I told Justin. I told Justin the, told overall, the overall theme of what our conversation was. That's no, you didn't tell me that Al said that you said the show was becoming heavily gay. This is new to me, Joyce. That's why I'm just really shocked. I okay. just, I didn't, this was not told to me from my manager. I just feel like, why were we not on this meeting if it was going into that much depth? I'm not going to sit here and continue to go around. Because they didn't think I'd ever tell you guys because we were all kept at odds for a reason. Al has been puppeteering, keeping us all fighting against each other and not getting along. Having some, He hangs up the Zoom. He always does that. He always runs. Al does this a lot. He doesn't, doesn't do that anymore. He does not oh my God, yes he does. We no, had, he has Zoom recently. The last time, unfortunately, he did was with you and I had to speak on it because that's just not cool. We've already had that conversation before, back in the day, when we had the issue with you and then everybody else. Then moving forward, we're not going to be disrespectful and hang up the Zooms on When does Al get checked is what I want to know. He, he's, 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 to me, is the problem here. When does he get I, checked? I checked Al about when he hung up on you. He, I he mean, talking. his behavior, he's still doing the same thing. You said he's course corrected. He still is long-winded. He still cuts people off. He's stirring up drama. He's going back and forth between me and Armand, trying to get us at odds, having these conversations. When does he get checked and held accountable? I'm not going to here, Claudia. I'm not going to get involved with you guys telling me that Al is calling you up and saying one thing and calling Amon up and saying, I'm not checking him about that. That's not the place. That's you guys to take care of. Okay? No problem. I, Noted. That's not, that, I'm not going to get involved in no, I get that. So that's why I'm going to talk about the call. Baby, when I tell you this here is some heavy, 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 heavy. Baby, listen. So I guess enough people dug up and funk his ass <laughs> that he came back and he had to say this. So many people are saying this, like something has to be a little off or there is a piece that's missing that either is not connecting with me or not connecting with y'all. So let me just clear up one thing and so we can all try to get a little bit of understanding. Everybody is saying Al is a snake and why don't I call out Al? I am completely being honest here and it has nothing to do with friendship. It has nothing to do with friendship. Up until the time that I left, there was nothing for me to call Al out on outside of what we've already talked about, which is the text messages, so on and so forth. I'm seeing things in the comments about investigations, uh, Al allegedly talking to HR, trying to get our mom fired. I am here to tell y'all at 11.25 p.m. on August 8th of 2024, I do not know nothing about that, and I did not know nothing about that. If you don't know what's going on, then what do you know? How do you know my, how do you know if I was handling it maturely or not? What do you know what's mature for me or not? What do I need to grow up for? What is it that you heard 
in regards to Fox Soul that you said earlier that you just feel I need to grow up. Why? What was? What? Why did you say that statement? If you don't know shit that's going on, why are you talking about me? A lot of people are saying, you know, I need to watch Armand's video because he posted some receipts. That's all fine and well. I don't indulge in trauma porn. I'm not watching nothing with somebody going off on me. You can tell your mama to do that, okay? But if somebody, anybody wants to call me and explain to me what I'm missing, then I am open to hearing it. Now, Funky, Quentin Latham Danivo, you can go on an interview, make comments about a situation you clearly did not have all the specifics on, but you won't take the time to listen to the person's response because you don't believe in traumatizing yourself when you have yet traumatized someone? Girl, what kind of bullshit is that? You sat on a whole interview and pretty much you weren't rude, but you were nice, nasty, kind of sunning and checking Armand on his maturity level in situations that you clearly did not know the full specifics of. But you had the audacity to say that someone should call you and give you the specifics on a situation that you took the opportunity to speak on when you clearly did not know everything. Come on now, friend, do better. But as far as you need to call out Al, I don't know what I would be calling him out on at this point because I was not there. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he and I communicated and he kept me abreast of things that were going on at TGIF. And you know, as with anything, people tell the stories from their side, they do. And it's not hard for me to believe much of what was coming out of his mouth because it was consistent with a lot of what was going on when I was there. But again, call out Al, call out Al. I have no problem calling out anybody who was wrong, including myself. And I have no problem coming back and correcting something if I was wrong. I am operating in this moment off of the information that I have, okay? When I left TGIF, Claudia and I, you know, we, we were no longer in a relationship and me and Armand never talked again. Nobody ever called me and said, let me tell you what Al did. Nobody ever said, Al is trying to get me fired. These are all things that I am finding out and all of that is allegedly. Pause me, please. That's the problem. You took it upon yourself to put yourself in a situation you did not have all the information for. Who's gonna call you, Funky, and tell you these things? Because as far as they know, you're 100% over the show. So yeah, Al used you and you got used. Again, call out Al. I don't know what I'm calling him out on. And it's funny because it, quiet as it's kept, if I'm being totally honest, it's beginning to look like my ass the same way the same way I said Armand got swept up in some stuff that he didn't have, didn't know that he was getting swept up in. It's starting to look like my ass done got swept up in some stuff that I don't know. So if somebody want to fill me in, if somebody want to call me and let me know what all the hell going on, please call me because I don't appreciate sitting up here on the internet looking like Portia when she was looking stupid down to that reunion. And if I'm being totally honest, that's how I feel right now. Absolutely. I don't know what's going on. I, don't, I, I really don't know what's going on. Somebody. Feel me. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Hopefully that is as far as this will go. We have forgotten all about this and moved on. And Carlos brought it up. And Funky fell right into it. Although, you know, we wanted to know what he felt. And I'm sure many people like myself knew he was going to be on the side of Al. I didn't think he'd be so poignant and... and so vindictive towards Claudia because a lot of what he was saying in regards to Armand pointed towards Claudia's influence and I wonder how does he feel now because you owe Claudia an apology. Anyway, heavy hitters, that's going to be it. Until the next time, y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and y'all be sure to join me for another heavy conversation. Until the next time, peace. You are now twerking to heavy hitter media. You are twerking, 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 twerking. Switch it up now!